The launch of New World Eternum is just a few short weeks away. Now I know the question that has all my fellow players in the New World community wondering, where is the roadmap? Well today fellas we got a look at New World Eternum post launch plans and I'm very sorry to say it's not looking like good news for the ironically named 6th season season of opportunity. Before we get to that though, let's circle back to June 2024. Summer Games Fest has arrived, providing the platform for the big announcement, AGS continued to not only tease, but also exclaim that said big announcement was the reason why content updates were almost non-existent post Rise of the Angry Earth launch. Now, as we all know, the big announcement came and went, promising a refreshed version of the game on PS5, Xbox X and Series S, and those who own the current game on Steam will get a free upgrade to the full New World Eternum experience, provided they have already invested in the Rise of the Angry Earth expansion, which I might add, has only gone on sale once, Yes, I know New World has had multiple sales on Steam and Amazon, but only have we seen the expansion itself see a price cut once. Regardless, New World Eternum, if the open beta is anything to go by, is a much more polished and enjoyable experience. The story and the gameplay, the leveling, all extremely high quality. Major end game improvements like the 10 players raid, PvP zone and soul trials, repeatable, loopable, farmable end game content that New World has been crying out for. But, and this is a huge but, if New World is going to compete in the ARPG space, because apparently this isn't an MMO anymore, despite the server sizes seemingly seeing a player capacity increase, a long-term content cadence is essential. Diablo 4 and Path of Exile are the current top dogs of this genre. Even Amazon's own Lost Ark sees regular content updates. But today, fellas, we got a look at the sort of content we can look forward to in a tournament post-October 50. Once we have beaten the hive of the Gorgons, toppled all of our foes in the new PvP zone, completed all of the daily soul trials, what do we have to look forward to, I hear you ask? Well, the Night Vale Hollow event, the Turkelon event, and the Winter Convergence event, of course. All of these events taking us right to the end of 2024. Now, I myself have a very small channel dedicated only to New World, but I have actually been playing this game since its very early alpha stages. I know a lot of you who may be watching this video have played the same amount of time or may have only played since launch, but I want you to think about the new console players. They will have an excellent experience from 1 to 65 and these events will be a first for them. So whilst for us veterans this is very disappointing, Scott did openly say that the dev team are always working on big content updates. Will New World Eternum continue to receive regular updates after its release on October 15th? It sure will. Um, we're going to get back onto our regular seasonal cadence. And, you know, we're always working toward our next piece of large content. So it's all in the works. Moreover, Katie did also say any roadmap would be for 2025 specifically. Yeah. And then after a turn of launches, we will uh, be able to put out the 2025 roadmap. So super excited for that. So for me personally, I'm okay with these reskinned events. Too many end game updates would isolate the new player base that are leveling up for the first time. Granted, this will be painful for the existing player base. Everything hinges on not only the players staying and continue playing, but also the 2025 roadmap. Now, on the lead up to launch, I will be dropping a video on what I want to see from a 2025 roadmap, so please do subscribe, and also please comment what you would like to see from a 2025 roadmap, and I'll be sure to shout out the best and maybe even the worst suggestions in that video. Fellas, thank you all so much for watching.